Hello Gemini, this is your top secret cross watchers video. This is all about how your lover, person of interest with whom you are having a relationship or a connection thinks, feels, and what they intend with you, what's going on beneath the surface. Let's dig in. Gemini, I love this reading. I am a Gemini, as many of you know. Oh my gosh, I love this reading. So I'm gonna jump into this because this is delightful. Okay. <laughs> the Ace of Coins in the recent past, your person has really wanted to make you a substantial offer. We see these little tentacles or tendrils. This is like a seed that is planted. Um, I almost want to say, you know, oh, that looks like a, a seventh grade sexuality like video of like, this is how you get pregnant. The seed goes up the sperm. I don't know why I'm like saying that, but it's the little tendrils of growth here. What your person wants to do is they want to invest in you in the recent past. The Ace of Pentacles is all about making a substantial offer whether they have or not is interesting because then we have the energy currently of the king of swords this person is staying very aloof this is aquarius energy this is king of swords energy this is sort of like a benign leader what we see here is someone who has healing capacity but who's not emotional who stays very aloof tries is very wise in many ways the king of swords is very very um brilliant uh, usually a very high level of IQ, but aloof. You know, they hold a sword, they're still a little defensive. I always, the King of Swords always brings out in me the feeling of like having a great surgeon. You're going, you know, you're all prepped for surgery, your surgeon comes out and they're great and they're warm and they're friendly. And you know, they're gonna take care of your problem, they're gonna use the sword, they're gonna do whatever they need to do. And there's no crying in surgery. This person's very compassionate. This person's a healer. However, they do not ever lose sight of facts and information. And this person is like there was the movie, you know, no crying in baseball. There's no crying in the surgical suite. So you have this person who's a healer who's very, very, um, very warm and very loving but very aloof and you would be horrified if they cried while they were cutting you open to do surgery so it's kind of a weird combination of energy it's a very good energy but it does show that your experience of this person is like well they don't even care they're not even doing anything like well what's going on with them they're not talking to me so it tends to be an energy of a person keeping to themselves and though they have all these wonderful feelings they're just quiet right now they're just they don't see a path forward in this moment that they should or could take any action uh, it can be you know circumstances which i think is the case the justice card how they feel about you this is there's a lot of air sign energy now we have a trine we have libra we have aquarius energy and we have you the gemini energy so it does speak to the fact that your person feels as though you understand them that they feel that you're balanced they feel the relationship has a really good uh, kind of fair balanced, centered energy to it they do feel as though they would like to marry you that is a sign of the uh, making a legal commitment because Libra energy is seventh house which is marriage or significant partnership in which there is a legal commitment of some sort whether it's buying a home together whether it's having children together those are in all really involved societal rules of protection so this person really wants kind of a formalized relationship with you Libra energy is Venus you know the planet of love and Saturn the planet of commitment your person sees you and feels that they want to be there for you. They're very loyal. This person is very loyal to Libra. They see you as a loyal person. They see you as grounded. They see you as very passionate, very sexy. We see this beautiful dog here, this big German shepherd. You know, this person has some coin, a lot of, this is a Taurus king. So it's the energy of the second house. You share the same values. You want the same things. Uh, you could have a beautiful life together and that's how they feel with you. The Three of Cups energy says that to them, you are a person that they can run. You're their best friend. You know, we get this energy of best friends. 
Uh, the Three of Cups is a card of celebration, happiness. Whenever they see you, they just love looking at you. They love seeing your smile. They love to see how you interact with other people. They like seeing how you interact with your pets, for heaven's sakes. This person sees you as a star-filled night of love, acceptance, abundance, and celebration. The Eight of Pentacles, how they view the situation going forward. They're in it to win it. They realize that it's not quite harvest time, but they do see themselves with you longer term. They feel as though they're working on something. They're at journeyman level. If you look at apprentice, journeyman, master. Mastery is where you get married. Mastery is where manifestation takes place. But when we look at the seeds, this person has invested in you. They're still invested in your Gemini and they are working on themselves and they're doing things that they need to do right now then we get the the Knight of Pentacles so this is Virgo energy day to day step by step they are taking and making the moves that they need to to have a better relationship with you the Knight of Pentacles is you know he's moving he's walking and letting his horse walk uh, but Virgo energy is all about um, making a plan and then planning your work and working your plan is the best way to put Virgo energy. So this person is headed to you, but you don't see it at this time. What we have here is incredible. I love this. Now the emperor card, you know, the emperor can be, the emperor is a king of the kings. So this is a person who feels a lot of authority. Spirit is saying that this person, the message from spirit about this relationship is that this person really loves you. Six of cups energy. You may have known each other since childhood. If you haven't known each other since childhood, this is a soulmate connection, uh, but it can be a soulmate either way. It's uh, again, the dogs are about loyalty. Okay, Six of Cups energy, Scorpio energy. You know, you're go this person wants to grow old with you. They feel this tremendous love for you. Scorpionic, you know, you're the most meaningful person or relationship that they've ever had in their life. There's something that draws them back to you time and time again. This person's very strategic, though, and, and Spirit is actually saying that you should be very, um, you know, this person's very thoughtful. Uh, about you, Gemini. They're, they are playing a strategy game, though, to be able to bring the relationship into fruition. So this person feels as though uh, they're making their moves or chess moves. And that actually is a message from spirit. If you want this relationship, there are things and people and places that need to be tended to strategically and with leadership by this person. And they are taking that role. They feel like you, they think the world of you. They just think the world of you. You are the beginning and end all of any relationship they have ever had. You are the, having you in their life is like living and experiencing the Academy Award win of relationships. Like, it's almost like star quality. You really represent something incredible to them that when one cycle ends, and that's like being single, being just friends, and goes into a new cycle of commitment, then, you know, it's, it's a never-ending cycle, but it's a new phase of a beautiful life together. This Queen of Swords energy says that this person, again, Queen and King of Swords indicates here that your person feels as though you're very smart, you're very logical. Again, Libra energy, Libra energy, Aquarius, and then there's Gemini, which is you, of course. So this, but, but this person, when everybody thinks that they're thinking of tax season, that they're thinking and fantasizing of you. So Libra, what we see, I mean, excuse me, Gemini, what we see here is this person. It looks like nobody really sees what's going on beneath the surface with this person. That basically this person can fantasize about you wildly in the presence of others and nobody would ever know it. But look at the secret fantasy, you know, wistfully thinking, you know, like, oh, yeah, what are you thinking? You know, my dreams for the future. Well, their dreams for the future is, you know, do a little dance, make a little love, get down to nut. <laughs> so wild horses can't keep them from you. So that energy is very powerful because Knight of Wands is very sexy energy but it's also very grounded. We see a person who really takes their commitment seriously, 
you know, somebody who really wants a grounded commitment with you. Now, the overall energy coming into the reading is bring a gentle touch. So that is something actually for you, Gemini, and take time out. Bear energy, very, very beautiful energy. So those are the advice from spirit. And further information now, the dark side, the part that this person may not even understand themselves. This is a shadow deck. So your person may or may not know these things about themselves. You'll, you'll know the answer to this as we go through it. First of all, the shadow side is a karmic soul tribe. There's somebody, there's a karmic in this person's life. This person is probably juggling an ex-wife or an ex-relationship. When we get justice and the queen of swords, we also get a potential past divorce. Uh, but it shows that this person juggles their past, their karmic ties, their family heritage, their ancestral baggage, if you will. And they are juggling. They're trying to overcome it. And look at this. I love this energy. We have the magician card. The magician card says that this person has all the tools it takes to come through. And this is you, Gemini. Gemini and Virgo, again, it looks like there's a combination of um, earth sign and air sign energy here. The magician, the alchemist, this person is making headway even if you don't see it after all. But look at this cat with the headdress and the, the antenna. I almost feel like these horns are like antenna to the universe. They have a beautiful song. They have the infinity symbol. But this is somebody who can transform their lives and their relationship. Going forward, we have the koi fish pond, yin yang energy. This person is about to balance their expectations. They're about to let go of karmic baggage. They want to do it. They are manifesting this release of juggling and karmic baggage. They will return to you according to this card if you've been in separation. Now, I don't think that you're, you're, I do think, let me put that properly. I think that you have been in contact and have access to this person. I think that if you want to text them or have a conversation with them, that you have that access. I don't think there's any question. There's nothing here that would say otherwise. So take it as it resonates. But it really says that this person wants to balance their karma with you. They absolutely have come into an awareness that they need to manifest a very peaceful, calm situation in which they're not juggling you, even, even if it's jobs, kids, money, money, ex-wives, wives, whatever, you know, but it does look like this person has been in a state of separation at the very minimum with any karmics, but we see a release of karma, a release is coming in. This person is manifesting this one day, one month, one year and temperance. They are balanced. They are healed. Sending you love from Chicago, Gemini, send some back and tell me where you're from. Take care.